Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action as usual here on the channel. Now to kick things off with our first tip tomorrow, we go to Punchestown for the 140. Now I hope I can pronounce this horse right, his name is Dallas Despictance, he's 6-5 to five of bookmakers at the moment, he was a French horse which suggests uh, the French uh, likeness in his name. Now he's trained by the maestro that is Gordon Elliott and Jack Kennedy is taken in the right tomorrow in the colours of Jigginstown. Now this horse ran a nice reappearance uh, run in Ireland last time out on its uh, Irish debut where it finished second at Leopardstown in a pretty decent warm um, novice maiden hurdle and I just thought tomorrow it still has quite a lot of ability and there were some decent horses in that race and I think there's going to be a lot of winners come out, out of it. It was at the Leopardstown Christmas Festival and those maiden hurdles are always hot contests and I just thought that was a good bit of effort that day he just couldn't keep up with the winner but I think tomorrow they found a good opportunity to get his uh, head in front of the second time of asking so that's why I'm going to be uh, selecting him as our first tip we then go to Pontwell for a bit of a course specialist in the 325 with a horse called Clondor Westy 92 bookmakers at the moment get out of Lawney Hill and experienced good jockey Aidan Coleman is booked for the ride he did well in this horse last year especially at Pontwell as well where it won twice over the course so no qualms about the course there finished fifth at Sandown recently and I think it will definitely come on for that run now I think you can forgive a lot of horses that have run at Sandown recently and that's form of the race has worked out not too badly you've had the fourth Derbin of the Moore family go and win since again at Sandown and also as well the horse in second place that day no Lego Venetia Williams went and ran a good race at Wincanton who only just lost out to finish in second place uh, last weekend so the form of that race has worked out not too badly and I just think tomorrow Clondor Westy going back to a track he loves a 9-2 could be uh, going really well tomorrow so that's going to be my tip there and then go to the Wolverhampton action in the evening. And the first race there, and our third selection, is in the 440. And I thought Valley Bell could go very well tomorrow. 7 or 2 bookmakers currently at the moment, trained by Phil McKenty and Nicola Curry's but for the ride. She's going really well at the moment. She rode a treble the other day at Chelmsford, and she's really doing well maintaining her decent form that she had last year and bringing it through to 2019, and is going very well. Now, this horse, uh, Valley Bell, uh, was backed into favouritism last time out, where it pretty disappointed really at Savile but it was finishing on strongly as it blew the start and I just thought really this horse could maybe just have a duck egg against its name tomorrow and just totally forget a uh, forget about it, that uh, performance if it can get a good start I think it will be there or thereabouts tomorrow not the strongest race you're ever going to see and I thought 72 that wasn't a bad tip there we then stay at Wolverhampton for our final tip the 545 I thought Dark Alliance could finally get his head in front he's 5-2 to two but makers at the moment I think he'll go off a bit shorter than this trained by uh, Daniel Mark Lockname and Megan Nichols who's been riding this horse the last couple of times claims £5 off now this horse has won three times at Wolverhampton between 7 furlongs and a mile and the last twice really you could argue that it should have got his head in front it's been running really well coming off the pace really strongly at the end but hasn't really been able to reel in the winner and it has got hasn't got first run on um, those horses so I think tomorrow with a smaller field a bit of an easier opportunity compared to some of its latest runs I think it'll be going really close tomorrow and will be the one to beat in my opinion I think it will be finishing the line in first place so apologies for the surroundings you're not going to have the jazzy intro uh, for the next week I'm, I'm busy with uh, things at the moment so I'm not at home unfortunately and I'm away from my house so that's all I've got to say on that so apologise for that and also as well these videos might be uploaded a little bit later than usual so that's all I've got to say about that if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button for more selections here on my YouTube channel more tips and videos so don't uh, don't miss out on those so subscribe to the YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15 you can also follow me on Twitter as well my handle is at Lucky Loads 15 and that's all I've got to say so please gamble responsibly hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon